everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to examine the pros and cons of owning a rabbit. Yes, this is an updated video. I think it's really important to expand on the negative sides of owning a rabbit for those who may be on the fence because a pet bunny isn't for everyone and that's okay. It takes a special person to love a bunny. And so if you are that special person, you'll appreciate all the pros on this list. So let's hop right into this. They are loyal. Most people don't realize how loyal rabbits really are. They recognize your scent, your voice, and your touch. Rabbits know who their human parents are, and they will always report to you. For example, when you return from a vacation, your rabbit will immediately take to you as if you two were never separated. They will be happy to see you and be with you again. Same goes for when your bunny has another partner. That partner will be their soulmate and they will never cheat on each other. They are eco-friendly. Bunnies are quite the eco-friendly pet. Most of their toys are made of biodegradable materials like wood, cardboard, or natural fibers. They eat a plant-based diet and their droppings are dry and compostable. Even their molted fur can be repurposed in many ways. They sleep during the day. Rabbits are crepuscular, which means they tend to be most active at dawn and dusk. And while rabbits can be trained to mimic your schedule closely, a crepuscular schedule is truly a gift for humans. Because while we're typically at work or school or running errands, our rabbits are peacefully sleeping. We don't have to worry about them getting bored, feeling lonely, or getting into mischief. They'll be active when you wake up and when you come home. They use a litter box. Yup, like cats, rabbits can be trained to use a litter box. This makes for a relatively easy cleanup and contained mess compared to some other house pets. It is recommended to spay and neuter your rabbits once they reach sexual maturity for best litter box training results. They are herbivores. This means that rabbits pretty much only eat greenery, which includes their hay. Their food won't be stinky, mushy, or consist of other dead animals, and their waste will be pretty dry and odorless as well. They may even influence you to eat a little healthier. They live long. Don't worry if you find yourself overly attached to your bunny after a short while. Bunnies can live up to 14 years if well taken care of. Often their lifespan gets conflated with that of a hamster or other small animals that only live a couple years, but you can bet your bottom dollar your rabbit will be around for a long time provided you give them a quality life. They are adorable. You'd have to be a pretty messed up person to not think bunnies are cute. I mean, just look at them. From their fluffy coats to their big ears and their wiggly noses, it's like they are real life stuffed animals that come with actual responsibilities though. They also have the cutest mannerisms and will do anything they can to impress you for a treat. They love you back. This is the most important thing in my opinion. Who wants an unrequited love? Um, not me. Rabbits are true companions with big hearts, and when they fall in love, they fall hard. Nothing beats this vulnerability in my opinion. They will show you their love in plenty of ways, like grooming you and spending time with you. They understand commands. Most people don't know how smart rabbits really are. Through training and conditioning, rabbits have the ability to learn commands and tricks. Bear in mind, they do have limits as to what they can do based on how they've evolved and been domesticated. They are quiet and peaceful. Rabbits are pretty much silent creatures. They don't vocalize their feelings much the way that dogs or cats do. This is both good and bad in that you have to work a little harder to understand what they are communicating, but good in the sense that you won't have to deal with noise or nuisance. They don't smell. You'll notice rabbits don't actually have a bad smell. In fact, they might not smell like anything at all. 
This is great if you can't stand animals with strong odors or bad breath. Bunnies are always powder fresh, which can be attributed to their meticulous self-grooming habits. And now for the cons. They shed. The problem with rabbit fur is that it's very dense, so ultimately a lot more is going to come out than it looks like your bunny actually has. It seems like it could go on forever. This can be a huge nuisance in terms of maintaining a clean household and fur-free clothes. Just be sure to brush your bunny regularly during their molting season and you should be okay. They are not self-sufficient. Rabbits, unfortunately, cannot be left alone for long periods of time, like cats and some dogs. Aside from hay, their food is perishable, so it needs to be fed to them on the spot before it goes bad. Additionally, rabbits require around-the-clock monitoring of their digestive system. Hay and water should be constantly replenished, and due to their curious nature, they may get into mischief when no one's looking. They chew slash are destructive. Rabbits' inherent need to chew comes from the ongoing growth of their teeth. This can result in the unfortunate loss of many prized possessions. Typically, their teeth are filed down by chewing lots of roughage like hay and twigs. By providing your rabbit with the former, including fun toys to keep them occupied, and bunny proofing your home, things should be pretty smooth sailing. They don't love to cuddle or be held for long. This is a bummer for people who like a cuddly animal. Rabbits usually don't like being held for very long and it makes them feel captive. Now, you can train your bunny to enjoy what I like to call micro cuddles, which are essentially just short stints of cuddles, but just bear in mind that your rabbit would prefer to be pet on the ground. Expensive medical bills. This one hurts. Rabbits, unfortunately, are still considered exotic animals in many places, so your average cat or dog vet won't see them. But with this label also comes being slapped with pricey medical bills from specialists, so always make sure to have enough money saved up to take care of your rabbit in case of an emergency. They are prey animals. Not gonna lie, this part really sucks because bunnies are at the bottom of the food chain. They constantly fear for their lives and are vulnerable to many dangers. This can be frustrating for pet owners who want instant gratification. But the truth is, once you break down their shell, rabbits can be just as outgoing as dogs or cats. Dealing with hay. Hay is literally the most annoying aspect to having a bunny. Unfortunately, it's 80% of a rabbit's diet, so hard to avoid. It can be pretty messy, heavy to lug around, and difficult to clean up. Not to mention, many people are allergic. There are definitely ways to keep your hay contained and your house dust free though. And for those with allergies, try oat hay or orchard grass instead. While rabbits are very popular, they are not popular enough to be considered mainstream pets. As a result, they are very misunderstood and left out of many conversations. They won't be allowed in certain public places, airplanes, stores, and it will also be hard to find businesses that cater to or specialize in rabbits, for example, grooming services, boarding services, supplies, and even vet care. In my humble opinion, the pros outweigh the cons. I don't know about you guys, but love rules all. I would never take back the experience of being with Lennon to avoid the shortcomings or hardships that came along with it. What do you guys think? Did I miss any pros or cons? Comment down below. See you soon.